This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at how you can use deep learning and regression to predict age of the patient based on the X-ray image. So there is this community prediction competition on Kaggle. So the competition name is SPR X-ray Age Prediction Challenge. So SPR stands for Radiology and Diagnostic Image Society of Sao Paulo. And this competition is with Amazon Web Services. Uh, the challenge is to determine gender and age using chest x-rays. Okay, so in this particular uh, video, I'm looking at the age part of it. So the idea over here is that uh, this action aims to encourage initiatives that present in advance potential identification errors that could harm the patient. In addition to promoting scientific and educational activities for the radiology and diagnostic imaging community. So how does the data look like? So here is the data uh, description. So basically, you have one CSV, trainage.csv, which has 10.7K records, where there is an image ID and an age. Now, where are the images? If you go over here, under this particular folder, under train, you have these images. So this zero image ID corresponds to this particular image. Okay. So like that, you have around 10,700 images in training and for testing you have I think close to 11,717 uh, images. So given such an image you should be able to predict the age. Okay. So let's go into the competition. Um, so what I've done is that I've created a notebook over here and I've tried some techniques. I will explain that. Okay. Uh, and this uh, evaluation metric, we need to be aware of that. So what is the evaluation metric over here? So the evaluation metric over here is, uh, you know, mean absolute error. What is mean absolute error? Mean absolute error is the average of sum of absolute errors. Sum of absolute error is nothing but, you know, you are predicted value minus actual value across all the samples. You take a sum of it and then divide by the total number of samples. Okay. So that is mean absolute error. So that is the evaluation metric. Okay. There is also a timeline over here. Uh, disclosure of results is in this conference. April 27 is the submission deadline. Okay. So let us look at our notebook. So what I'm doing over here is that I would want to make use of a image processing library. Okay. To basically extract features from chest X-ray images and I want to use deep learning for that. So when I was searching for something which has been pre-trained on X-ray images, some library, I found out this Torch X-ray Vision. It is a library for chest X-ray data set and models. It includes pre-trained models which have been trained on chest X-ray. It is an open source software library. Okay. It also has, um, you know, chest X-ray data sets. You can work with that, right? So I am going to use some pre-trained model from this to extract features from images. Okay. So that is why I'm installing this torch X-ray vision. First, let us look at the data and then let us come into certain methods over here. Okay. So first I need to actually uh, read the CSV file, uh, the input file trainage.csv and uh, I need to convert the image ID to a file path. Why is that? Because when I was showing the data over here, if you look at the data, right, your train age CSV just has an image ID. Whereas inside the uh, images folder, you know, this is the file name, a six digit file name. Okay. So I have to convert this ID into this six digit dot PNG. Okay. So for that, I have a method over here, which takes a number and returns a six digit file name with dot PNG extension. And the path is this for training images. So I create that. So this is how my data frame looks like now. Okay. Image ID, age and file path. Now let us look at the distribution of age in this particular data set. So if you look at over here at the distribution, right, it looks like you have from 18 to 89. Okay. And this is how the X-rays are distributed across this age group. Okay. So for a certain age group, say at 35 or something, you have close more than 1400 X-ray images. Okay. For a certain age group like 89, 
uh, close to 85 or 83 onwards, you have very less number of images, 400 images in this data set. Okay. So then we can look at some images over here, right? I can pass the file path and an index. Okay. So the, in this data frame, and I can show the images over here along with the age. So this is an X ray of an 89 year old person. This is an X ray of a 28 year old person. This is a chest X ray of a 83 year old person. Okay. Then what I do is that I take 95% of the data for training and I take 95% uh, from each age group, basically each age from 18 to 89. Okay. That is what I do over here. And then I extract image features. Okay. To that, I pass the image list and the file path list from this data frame. Okay. Sample data frame. So how do I extract image features? Let's go to that. Okay. As I said, um, you know, I'll be using this uh, torch vision. Um, basically, I'll be using the torch X-ray vision, right? For pre-trained models on X-ray images. So for that, first I need to create a data loader. So I create a data set class, which accepts a list of image IDs and image paths. Okay. And if you look at my get item method, what it uh, does is that it reads each image, basically normalizes the image. This pre-processing is based on what is explained in Torch X-ray vision for this model, right? It converts the image in this range, 8-bit image to this particular minus 1024 to 1024 range. Uh, does some mean processing of that, makes single color channel basically, and then does transformations on that, okay? The transforms will come from when I'm calling this from the data loader, okay? So I have created this data set class, okay? Uh, my data set class, which extends this data set. Okay. From PyTorch, basically torch utils data. I do that over here and batch size is 128. Okay. Now let's go to the feature extraction part. So here I have to import torch X-ray vision as XRV, uh, import torch and torch vision. So what I do over here is that, uh, I want to use the ResNet pre-trained model. Okay. So if you go to torch x-ray visions and if you go to uh, torch x-ray vision, if you go over here and if you go to this code models.py, you have the list of models which are available. Okay. Pre-trained models and the different data sets they have been trained on. I'm using this ResNet. This model was trained on data sets, these data sets at this resolution. Okay. All these data sets. These are just x-ray data set. And basically this model is used over here for classifying the X-ray, basically identify certain conditions in the X-ray. But you can use this model to also extract features. Okay. And then I'm pushing that model to device. Basically device is CUDA. I'm using the graphics uh, card or GPU over here. So I have, um, you know, torch.device.cuda. So basically I'm pushing it to the GPU, right? So then certain transforms needs to be done like center crop and uh, resizing this image to 512 or input image because as net this accepts a 512 cross 512 image. This again from this code over here in torch x-ray vision, you can take this code. So that is the transform. So I have an extract image features method, which takes a list of image IDs and a list of image paths, corresponding image paths. Then I create my data set. Okay for which I pass the image ID, image paths and uh, transform. Okay. The transform was defined over here. Then I create a data loader. Okay. Then for every batch in the data loader, what I do is that for the images, I can call model dot features to extract features. So basically it will give the features. It will not apply the classification layer. Okay. I have, I'm just taking one layer before it. Uh, so model dot features method is available in this library, which returns the features. Okay. Then I create a feature list uh, and I create a pandas data frame with the image ID list and feature list. Okay. So then I call this method over here. Let me go to that. I call extract image features. So the features looks like this once this extraction is done. Okay. So you have the image ID and features, right? Now we need to split these features. Okay. Into F1, F2 and so on. Okay. We need to split this list. So that is what I do over here after merging the features with the sample, uh, basically the original data frame with the age and other few thing. So it looks like this image ID, age, file path and features. Okay. So then what I do is that I need to split these features. Okay. That is what this code does. Okay. Split that column. 
okay and create like this zero so on so totally i get two zero uh, you know four eight features okay i also drop file path and image id because i don't require it anymore okay so i just need age and the features right so that is what i've done over here right so from this kind of a features i'm splitting it and i'm taking the age age and features are available okay i'm dropping the image id over here then what i do is that this is the feature extraction part okay once features are extracted then i to i have to do a regression on this to compute the age because age is a continuous value 18 to 89 uh, i can't do classification over here i would want to do regression right so for that i use a regression model gradient boosting regressor from sklearn library okay skykitlearn library i need train test split i need the metrics okay mean squared error r2 score basically uh, i need the metrics which needs to be imported actually it is not this mean squared error actually i am using mean absolute error i am importing it down okay earlier i was using mean squared error okay also the pipeline so i create a pipeline whereby i need to first scale the data right centering the data basically that is the standard scalar then i want to do gradient boosting regression on the data okay that is the pipeline which i am create so first i have i need to split my data features and target i do over here and then i have to do train test split so 80% of the data i'll be using for training and 20% for testing okay so after split this is how my train looks like okay so there are 2046 features and you are this column right so it is uh, 8133 rows into 2048 columns basically 2048 features okay from the resnet network and this is basically the image id right and then uh, this is how my test data looks like okay then i do pipeline dot fit x train y train so what it does is that it will first you know on the training data it will apply the standard scalar and then it will perform gradient regression okay then i will use this pipeline to predict on the test data okay on the test data whatever is the standard scalar parameters it has learnt over here when fitting on the train data it will apply on the test data and the regression model which it has learnt over here it will apply over the test data okay then i am trying to uh, you know compute the mean absolute error which i have imp uh, imported over here and the r2 score for this particular model so it says mean squared error is 8.22 r squared is 0.7 okay so this is the model which has been done the r squared score closer to one means it's good done a very good regression but in this case it's 0.7 over here okay right then i read the test data frame okay which is the submission this thing so again i have to convert the image ids to you know the path image so that is what this file path conversion method does right so once i do that this is how the test data frame looks like image id age file path okay so this test is for submission and not this split which i have done over here okay so then what i do is that i have to extract the features for this image again using the same method extract image features so this is how the features look like okay then i have to again split this column and create my final uh, you know test frame basically so the features look like this all right so for this features then what i do is that i again call uh, you know predict okay so since the features are extracted i will call the predict from the same pipeline which i have trained before okay and this is how the prediction looks like the ages have been predicted for the test images then i can create another column in the test uh, df basically the column age i can assign it to this predictions and i can create my submission file okay so i have actually created the submission file once i run this you now this is how my output submission file looks like image id and age and then i can submit it okay so basically when i submitted this it gave me a score of 11.54636 okay as my mean absolute error okay so if i go to my best score over here for age prediction uh, my best score was a previous notebook a similar notebook where i used say 90 percent of the data for training and not the full 100 percent full 95 percent otherwise the code is more or less the same right so one thing you can note over here is that 
you know if i look at my uh, code it says that when i did it on the tree uh, test uh, what you call your training uh, it is kind of saying uh, you know mean absolute error as 8 right and uh, when i am using uh, when i am getting the output and i am submitting it on the test data it is giving it as 11 okay that means that uh, my model is performing it kind of overfitting on my training data right because if you look at training versus test accuracy the test accuracy is comparatively less when compared to training accuracy it's kind of overfitting on training data uh, we can also change the features basically the background model uh, to extract image features and then we can try it out because if you look at the leaderboard over here in this competition many people have got much higher scores right 4.5 as your mean absolute error my score is somewhere bottom in the bottom right so you can also try out different uh, you know image uh, extraction uh, methods basically the feature extraction method using different models right to extract better features from the image and then perform regression so here the focus was not on the accuracy as such but it was more about the approach of how you can combine deep learning to extract features from the image and then perform regression on top of it okay so i'll be sharing this notebook in the description of the video you can go and try it out uh, you can um, you know try out with different models so why i why did i use torch x revision so when i used a just a normal pre-trained resnet to extract features uh, the accuracy was much lower because you know it was not pre-trained on x-ray images so when i tried torch x-ray vision it gave me better results okay but still uh, because it is overfitting i can look at some kind of you know methods to improve uh, uh, you know this overfitting basically and i can also look at some methods to improve this feature extraction to get better features and that can improve the accuracy of the results so this was a video on how you can use deep learning and uh, you know regression uh, how you can use deep learning to extract features from images and then perform normal regression on those features to compute age from chest x-rays so i'll be putting the link of this competition along with this notebook uh, you can go and try it out i hope this video is useful for you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video